so little discussion so uh this morning i did a video about a chevy equinox the customer came in and said his mechanic said his mechanic said he needs a catalytic converter yeah and this is what i mean about other mechanics out here in our industry don't know what the fuck they're doing one the time and chains are on two the engine dipstick is full crusties and sludge and black customer has to add a quart of oil every week with no oil leaks so here's here's the list you ready catalytic converter no warranty engine not running properly oil change with motor flush at minimum sludge on dipstick bad needs a motor flush PCV mod to intake pre-soaked piston rings all this to try and undo all the poor poor maintenance practices that have been ignored Front control arms, lower control arms, sway bar links, wipers don't park on windshield. This guy wants to try and get two more years out of this car. I can't guarantee you 90 miles on this catalytic converter. You're burning a quart of oil a week and you want to do nothing about trying to resolve the oil consumption issues. One, his mechanic is either blind, stupid, uh, or has no clue what he's doing. Um, you drive the car around the block, the front end's clanking and banging. I mean, it, it's it's no secret, right? Let me just show you. It's no secret that... You see that right there? See this, the bolt and then the crack completely around the control arm on top of the sway bar links, on top of the tires, on top of the struts, on top of neglected maintenance. Uh, you technicians out here, you got a PO420 code. Something else is wrong with the car. I can't brainwash you guys enough. You have enough sense to tell somebody uh, um, that it has a PO420 code, but you don't have enough sense to say, hey, what other problems are going on in this engine that are causing this? And then do you other shops guarantee a catalytic converter? How can you? I can't. I cannot guarantee my work on a catalytic converter if the customer completely neglects trying to correct any of the issues that they created. I mean, look at this engine, completely dry. Burning a quart oil week and doesn't want to do anything about that oil consumption problem. So it's your money, dude. Uh, but what I wanted to say is this is the engine that has the secondary air injection system on it. And what that means is that the converter is buried the bolts are buried underneath all the stuff up there. So you got to take off pipes, this, that, the other thing, just to gain access to the bolt. So what I do on this is I pry the shield up and I just got these new wrenches from Snap-on because I invest in my future every day. I've been waiting for a while for these. That's the part number right there. So flex, flex head, ratcheting forward and reverse and 17 and 19 oh i've been waiting for these for so long i've been waiting for these for so long i know they're not cheap either uh the aftermarket doesn't really make anything like this so that's why i buy these specialty tools and uh this cuts the labor time way down i think it's five hours labor or something like that to tear the secondary air injection system off and then go in here and replace the catalytic converter um, I should be able to have this on and off within the hour